So Emma is uh, endlessly alluring to, to filmmakers and to TV adapters, I think for two obvious reasons. The first is a heroine herself. I'm going to take a heroine who no one but myself will much like, Jane Austen reportedly said, according to her, her nephew in his memoir of her. And uh, it's such an Austen-like thing to say, as if um, she's the only person who will truly understand how uh, actually fundamentally likable this busybody meddling, self-deluded heroine really is. Um, she's a fascinating character, a complicated character, a wonderful part that any actress will want to play. Um, this perceptive, clever, humorous, yet completely wrong-headed young woman. The other second reason why I think the novel is so attractive to those who wish to adapt it to either the small or large screen is the nature of its dialogue, um, which is just a gift to a screenwriter. Emma has the highest proportion of dialogue of all Jane Austen's novels. More than half of the novel is direct speech. And within that, every character is gifted with um, a, a peculiarly different, yet subtly different idiolects, ways of speaking which are unique to them. Um, so uh, to adapt Emma is partly a question, I think, of just simply knowing how much of it you have to cut because it's, it's just um, wonderfully speakable. Um, Mr. Elton with his smooth platitude, Mrs. Elton with her absurd, um, over-assertive vulgarity, Surrey as the Garden of England, and Miss Bates with her extraordinary outpourings of kind of trivial yet often narratively um, telling and characterful observations on village life. All these idiolects and more, Mr Woodhouse's um, uh, fussy, hypochondriac fearfulness about almost nothing, all of it can be transcribed straight into a script. And Austin has given a sort of devoted attention to the different ways in which people speak. And all that readily comes alive on the screen.